I'm almost ready to uh, make my first chips uh, on this uh, machine but before I start I'm going to measure the run out uh, when the spindle is cold and when it's warmed up I already adjusted the bearings uh, as good as I was able to so um, so let me show you the run out uh, when it's cold I am measuring against this uh, arbor because the spindle nose is a bit damaged so when I'm measuring on this surface the uh, dial indicator nozzle um, it uh, jumps around a bit so I think that's about three hundredths of a millimeter run out So that's about six degrees. That's well, it's pretty cold here. So now I'm going to leave it uh, run for like uh, 20 minutes and uh, check the temperature now and again. This is after. Uh, about 20 minutes, maybe a bit more. The uh, run out is still pretty much the same. So I've been running uh, at 600 RPM for 5-6 minutes now. So we're over 30 degrees, I think that will be enough. It's harder to turn. Well, run out hasn't changed much. Mm. Warming up the uh, spindle did help uh, with uh, with this uh, no, deflection test uh, before I was e I could easily deflect it like five six hundredths of a millimeter I can now get three uh, one thing I noticed before is that um, the oil gets pretty dark here's the run out with the chuck it's a bit it's all over the place it's not a lot run out getting ready to cut this piece of uh, aluminium um, first cut ever for me so I'm a bit nervous if uh, this doesn't work there uh, might have been a lot of work for nothing okay here we go I'm running at uh, 400 RPM. This uh, ball handle is a bit uh, awkward to operate. Nice 
Burgess. It's hard to keep a constant cutting speed. Well, that wasn't too bad. Bit of a mess. But that's okay. go first chips well strings um let's try a facing cut is a uh, tool post is a bit awkward you need uh, rather big tools otherwise it won't clamp it at both ends and well for my on my Chinese leaf I would just set the uh, four-way tool post at an angle and use the same uh, the same bit to uh, face uh, the workpiece but um, I can't do this with uh, this tool post I would need a, a left hand uh, tool bit for that um, I got a, a tool with a rather big radius. It's one of my longer tool bits, so and I know it's sharp. So let's give this a try. See if I can remove that small uh, piece in the middle. Looks, uh, looks like I'm a bit low. Luckily I made a whole bunch of uh, uh, adjustment shims. So let's add 0.4 millimeter. That's better. Let's speed things up. At uh, 600 RPM, the highest speed, there is still a, there's still a bit of vibration. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not perfect, but not bad. Um, let's try a uh, center drilling. That will be a good indicator if the uh, bat and the uh, tailstock are in alignment with the headstock.
Well, that worked. This is a 8mm drill. Four hundred RPM. And I'm through. Yeah, that went okay. Time uh, to try some real metal. I don't know what we got here, but we're gonna try and cut it. There uh, must have been some oil on there because it was smoking a bit. Um, well, not perfect, not bad. Let's try. Take enough a bit more. I'm running at 600. Still a bit rough. bit better. This uh, terrible finish was already on there. Uh, I would like to say somebody else did it, but uh, it must have been me. Um, Four hundred RPM. A bit slow. Can't go any further. I know this stuff was uh, was pretty hard to cut. Six hundred yards. Same shit. I need another tool bit and a longer workpiece. Um, another piece of mystery metal. 
Um, here we go, 600 RPM. I should use a uh, live sender. Let's set up the uh, live center. Some uh, cutting oil instead of uh, WD-40. Well, it's better than the finish that was on there. It's not perfect. This thing is very hard to reverse. It's also pretty annoying to operate. Slowing down since they are. That's a uh, marginal success. I don't know what kind of material this is, so I'm trying to stay positive. Alright, final test. Um, parting off. Well, at least uh, partial parting off, because I'm not really sure if this, uh, this is uh, on a 90 degrees uh, angle with the workpiece, so it's a bit uh, hard to set up. Um, yeah, here we go. This is a 300 RPM. A bit too much for the belt. Four hundred RPM. Two hundred.
I'm surprised that it isn't uh, stalling. Let's try 100. So this is 10 hertz. Yeah. Start to slip on the small pulley. And again. Well, I'll leave it at that. Um, I must say, that's better than my uh, cheap Chinese lathe. A lot better. And I'm surprised that it uh, it did still cut at uh, 10 hertz. Um, well, that concludes uh, taking the first cuts. It was, uh, well, I'm quite happy with this. I would call it a success. I could do a whole lot of uh, testing, uh, measurements and such, uh, how precise this lathe is, but to be honest I don't really feel like it. Maybe maybe in another video, but uh, for now I don't want to find out uh, how bad this thing is. For now I'm just enjoying the fact that uh, this old lathe took its uh, first cuts.